box. So this is this video will be these examples, and if I figure out something for Internet Explorer and Safari, I'll go ahead and uh, do another video for this. But again, this is for people using Google's Chrome browser as well as people using Firefox. Um, so here goes. What you need to do is you need to go and grab the extension Adblock Plus. Um, Adblock Plus lets you add in your own filters. So uh, these are some of your standard ones. Uh, actually, these two were early iterations. They don't work. But what does work here, I want to show you. You can add in uh, this string of code, which I'll go ahead and post right here, add filter. And uh, once you do that, you refresh. And once it loads, ta-da. And then you can just shrink that down and no more auto scrolly nonsense. Now, if you are someone that is wanting this gone as well, I mean, you can either keep it in the sidebar or, I mean, you can just hide the sidebar and then you're good. But um, there's also an additional bit of code if you wanted to hide that as well. I'll put this code up there as well. You go in here, add filter, and you're done. Refresh. And that's hidden as well. But I like seeing uh, all of your uh, ugly mugs on there, so I'm going to remove that one. I'm going to refresh. And ta-da. All the people are right back here. Now, this works similarly in Chrome. So uh, what you need to do is you need to install the same extension. Um, and then once you go to that extension, which here you can uh, get this, I'll put the link here for uh, Firefox. That is the direct link to the Adblock Plus. You add it and then you'll need to restart your browser. Once you restart your browser, um, you can go down here and you can go to Preferences. Now you're gonna have this nice little window here that's going to be all of your filters. Now you can go to Add Filter and do the same exact thing. Same code. It adds it in. And you go over to Facebook. Oop, it must not have saved it, hold on. Let's go in here again and do that one more time. Add filter, there. There, sorry, you just had to make sure that it's enabled. Hit okay, and look, it's gone. And this one actually went auto-updated but without even needing to refresh. So Firefox, it works in Firefox, it works in Chrome. I will be working on Safari and Internet Explorer and you should be good. Thanks for watching.